What's up, YouTube? Texas Rob here. Been gone a couple weeks. If you noticed, you noticed. If not, no big deal. Been just real busy. Had some things I could do and probably won't be here next week, but I'll do what I can. Maybe I'll do it Friday night of next week instead of Saturday. So you're probably thinking, what the hell's he gonna do? Sit and talk with an empty glass? Because there's no bottle on the bar. Normally there's a bottle on the bar, but I wanted to surprise everybody with this one. It is a bottle that I've been looking for. I've had mixed reviews on it. And just recently I had to go down to Arkansas and uh, for the weekend, uh, Skeet and I did. And I uh, went in there, and this is a bottle that you will not find in Kansas, period, at all. And I go into a damn liquor store down there, and he had five of them. I'm like, are you kidding me? Five damn bottles sitting on the shelf at retail. And I'm like, oh, hell no. So I had to get one. Uh, pause now and put your guess in the comments if you think you know what it is. But you probably don't. But it is a bottle. It's, I think it's got mixed reviews on it. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Me and B-Jack had a similar one a few weeks ago. But without further ado, there it is, folks. Peerless. I have been probably looking for this bottle since I started my bourbon crap. I, I won't say crap. My bourbon quest, I'll say. Some folks would call it crap. Uh... But you can't find it. The only one we can get around here is the rye. Excuse me. And if you remember a couple weeks ago, or a few weeks ago, B-Jack was here. And he had the Peerless Double Oak, which was pretty goddamn good. So this is Peerless, small batch. It is 108 proof. Uh, and I noticed that they're different proofs. I don't know. I have not opened this yet. It's been sitting there burning a hole in my liquor cabinet for I probably should have opened it maybe got some air to it I don't know but I didn't want to open it without you oopsie without you guys so here goes it and yeah this is the only bottle we're doing tonight oh that was a that was a weak cork oh that was better but it's got a heavy duty deal on it oh it already smells good I don't know. I'm going to do the... Man, that cork is like heavy. Or not the cork, but the... This thing. It's not plastic. I don't know what it is, but... It's, don't want to get a neck pour. No, there's not a lot of neck there. I just always like the shape of the bottle. And I think the name, it like reminds me... The name and the way it's written and the label, it reminds me of like... It... It like reminds you of old signs like from back in the day, or at least me it does. Dang, I almost can't grab that bottle. That thing is so fat around. Let's see what the hype is. Non-chill filtered, strictly sweet mash, no water added, barrel proof. There we go. With an unparalleled 100 year history, we preserve the quality Surpassed by none. Peerless caliber standard set by ancestor Henry Craver. This rich and mellow small batch bourbon is distilled, bottled, and aged in Louisville, Kentucky. Bourbon district. So you gotta say Louisville. You can't say Louisville. It's Louisville. I ain't even from Kentucky, I know. That's got all these numbers on here, so we'll get into her. Ooh, it's super sweet. Sweet mash. It's sweet. Got a little ethanol on the nose. Not much, though. Man. It's like white sugar. Like, super sweet. Like, simple syrup. Sweet. Sorry. I don't scratch my eye there. Uh, I don't know that it gives an age statement. If you know how old it is, put it down there. But, I mean... I don't know that it gives a specific age statement. I don't know. I have to look. I have to Google what the DSPKY-50 is. I don't know what that is. So, either way. Really leggy. It's super oily on there. 
like it's dripping down. I know you can't see it, sorry. But it's like taking forever to drip down the glass. It's got great color on it. I mean, just super, super good color. I mean, it's got to be a good age to it. It can't just be some stuff. I mean, obviously, because it's peerless and it's been, been around a while. The double up was good, so this has got to be good. Yeah, I mean, it's like... It's like sugar and a little caramel in there, maybe, but it's definitely sweet. A little citrusy, too, now. Like orange, orangey citrusy, maybe. Maybe that's the ethanol on my nose, but a little bit of both, but... Yeah, if you guys could see those legs on that glass, man, that stuff just is oily as heck. Good, in a good way, though. In a good way. So, let's go. Oh, yeah. that first sip that's really peppery on the front super peppery on the front and the and the middle of the tongue a good sweet finish but no hug it hits that it hits the front of your tongue and in the middle of your tongue and it is like peppery like super not like hot peppery but like it's peppery but it's good peppery I mean that's good I can definitely taste some citrus in it. That's what I'm getting. It's not as sweet on the front and the middle as it is on the smell. Now the finish I'm getting is sweet, but it's it's kind of citrusy too. And I don't know, this is I open it up, so maybe you gotta get some air into it and come back to it, you know, a little while later, but I mean, it's still good, though. Don't get me wrong. And I got it at retail. So retail, I mean, uh, 80. I, I paid 80 for it. But I know I could probably sell this on the secondary. You know, it goes for crazy, stupid money. But I ain't about all that. I like to buy bottles that I like to get unicorns and that you can't get around here or that are hard to find. I like to get those, but I don't pay stupid money for them. I get them at retail prices or I don't buy them. I just, I can't do it. I'm not one of those tater chasers. I ain't going to chase it, chase it, chase it, and then pay. I'll chase it, but I ain't going to pay a buttload of money for it. I just can't do it. 80, I paid, uh, I paid more than that for a bottle of tequila, that Ron White tequila, the number one. That's pretty good stuff, though. I don't know. I might have to. I'll have to revisit it for sure. But it's not bad. It's not bad. It's really bitey. This first. Like it's. It's peppery. But the, the, the taste is really bitey. Really citrusy. Uh, it's like. It's like it's coming at you. It's not like really smooth and mellow like a uh, Weller Green Label or a, a Weeder. This is like, so I don't know, I don't know the mash bill. Maybe it's a rye mash bill. I don't know, but it can't be if it's got a sweet mash. It's got to be a Weeder. It's got to be a Weeder. I'll have to look it up, see if they put it out there. But Now I just will have another little bit of it. I'm afraid that bottle's going to slip right out of my damn hand. Maybe it'll go, maybe it'll be different this time. I don't know. 
I mean, it smells like super. Yeah, I mean, the smell is on the nose. It's like just like sticking your head in cotton candy, but not, I mean, just the sugary smell of it. That's, that's what I'm smelling. And that got a little ethanol right there on my nose, tickling my nose hairs. It's the same. It's not bad. Maybe it'll open up and be better. Cause, but like I said, I've had mixed reviews. The double oak was good. Uh, obviously, I only got one bottle, so I can't like rank them like I usually do. Would I pay eighty for it again? Hmm. Probably because I can't get it around here, maybe. But if this was readily available, I'd expect it to be like a $60 bottle. Not saying that people mark it up at their stores. I don't know what they pay for it from the liquor distributor. What is what it is. I don't know those prices. But I think it's, uh, I, I don't know. I think it's a $60 bottle. So it's good. It's good. But I think it's a $60 bottle. All day but never know a lot of people pay crazy money for this so but either way but I, I just wanted to put a short one out I for those wondering give an update why I haven't filmed in a couple weeks I've just been the weekend before was really busy with uh, oh, I can't remember what the hell we did it's been so long ago but then last weekend I was uh, no, the weekend, two weeks ago, was Arkansas. So this has been burning a hole in my cabinet for two weeks. And then last week, we were busy with uh, my buddy Art's birthday. And we just we got home late. And I didn't have time. And so that's why. But It's not bad. But that's my thoughts on Peerless. If y'all got any, if y'all had, if y'all, whether you liked it or hated it, put it down in the comments. I'd love to know. Other than that, hopefully, I will uh, try to line up a guest for the next time. And uh, uh, this weekend, I'll try to line up a guest for maybe Friday night. I know V-Jack went down to Wichita and got a bottle, and I want to try that. I'm, I'm itching to try that, so maybe I'll see if he wants to come up here, or maybe I can go down there and film at his house. Uh, but until then, you guys have fun. Drink responsibly, uh, but always drink it neat. That's what I say, anyway. <laughs> but uh, other than that, we will see you next time. Have a good week.